Hello, Rogue Life viewers. As you may have noticed, I've been talking about going on vacation a lot. Well, that vacation is now, sort of. I'm recording this super out of order. So, my vacation is still coming, but for you, it's now now. Just like right now is a great time to go and buy my book on Amazon. You can find a link in the doobly-doo. All right, now it's time to kill Captain Penny. Captain Penny's lived a good, long life, and it's time for that life to end. She's had a delightful child, that child is now a mariner on his or her own right, and it's just... it's just time. Oh, it's gonna be rough, but we'll see what we can do. We've got no fuel, which means it's time to go visit the Dark Spectacled Admiral. Um, I can't submit vital intelligence, uh, but it is time to submit all of my portals. What's this? Huh. Submitting some port reports. Demo Island, and Gators Morn, and Mount Palmerston. Vanderbite, Nancio, Chapel of Lights, oh shit, uh, oh damn it, damn it, I needed to sell that first, well, goodbye one supplies, uh, continue, I need to go to London and sell my clan, I have money, uh, Rose Market, do you have anything? Do you want to buy for me? Perhaps not. Uh, Labyrinth of Tigers. Uh, purchase a live specimen. Hmm. Still don't know what to do with those, and I don't have time. Uh, at my lodgings, it's always time to... In London, it's always time to read the paper. Where the hell's reading the paper? Uh, and I need to hire on more crew. Crew. It's nice to see all of you. I'm certain you'll all survive. Does that mean you have a new idea lined up after Penny's death, or are you just going to play her Scion? I'm probably just going to play her Scion, uh, because that's the way of things. Uh, Dark Spectacled Admiral, I have some more port reports to give. Yes, yes. Uh, and that's probably going to fill up my ship. to know. What do you need? He didn't say a specific place. Uh, my hull's in bad shape. How am I doing on favors? I've got a bunch. Uh, I'll go to the dry dock. Um, spend some favors to repair the hull. I still have a bunch of fuel and a bunch of supplies. I wish I had more fuel. Uh, how's my hold? It's completely full. I will not be buying Foxfire candles. I just want to sell a Cintillac. I really want to sell the romantic literature. But I need three slots in order to do uh, the things that I want. Uh, what am I going to do about that? I don't know what to do with romantic literature, so I'm just going to sell it. Boom, boom. Uh, I can buy fuel out there, 
Might want to change the name of your podcast if you're never going to change games. Hmm. Uh, Dark Drop Coffee Beans. I know that I need two of those. I need at least one of those if I go to Irem. Am I headed in that direction? Let's do that. Let's see what I got. Uh, and in that case, I will go to the provisioners and buy one more fuel. Oh, does this take up space? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, let me take out, check out my gadget gazetteer real quick, and. I don't want to learn about Menaces, Nuncio, Objective, Ambition, Admiralty Commission. Strategic information from the chill in it. I went there. All right. Well, what we need to do is... Uh, Mount Palmerston, Chapel of Lights, Irem. Yep. It's not very... It's not, it's not the most exciting voyage we've come up with, but it's one that is relatively safe, which is not really what we're setting out to do since this is Operation Kill Penny. I would love to, to, to work until Penny retires, but I just don't think that's that's really in the cards. So, because I just genuinely have no idea how one's supposed to go about it. Uh, I do not earn money fast enough. I don't have a big ship. I bought a stupid gun that I shouldn't have gotten. Um, but, <clears throat> if this works out. So contrary, let's say if the end of the hour... She ain't dead, somehow. Uh, then what we're going to do is actually uh, try to get her the ship, the corvette, that has uh, two cannon slots. Take those cannons and, uh, and just do some dastardly deeds with all the monsters along the coast. Uh, and see how long she lasts. Um... I just cannot load up on enough uh, cargo to actually go to the surface and make any sort of delight out of that. Um, I can't get supply supplies for Estival because, once again, I don't have enough cargo. Um, and so it, it's, it's real tough. Really monster fighting? Yeah. Yeah, or pirate hunting near uh, probably this far east. I can probably take out a lot of them with the guns that I own right now. Uh, I just need a forward deck slot in order to do it. I don't have tea with the factor. How's it going, dude? I need a port report, and will I gather supplies? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, actually. Gain supplies and terror. Let's get out of here. Um, that's actually a pretty good ship. I'm gonna turn off my lights and try to avoid it. It's really fast. That's the kind of ship that I actually want to buy. Um, a Gator's Morn and a Mount Palmerston. Because ideally, at the end of this, I will do something foolish after leveling up several times. Um, oh, Jesus, no. Okay. That's fine, I guess. 
They gave up the chase. Bunch of cowards. Uh, then the real question comes, is that once Penny's dead, because we bury her at sea, do we do this or do we try to play Duskers? That was a flare. I can shoot those too, and it makes it easier to get a fi firing solution on people, which I could also get better by getting higher mirrors. Um, mirrors and iron would combined make me into a terrifying combat prospect. I'm going to attempt to gather intelligence. I have a port report of Gator's Morn. Hey, check that out. Uh, I'm going to explore the Morn. An intriguing smell. Who will try? Who will buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. Do you have something more robust? The vendor winks and produces a usefully anonymous skewer of meat. I have unaccountably peckish, by the way, which allows me to do eat interesting things. I've lost hunger, uh, I'm more unaccountably peckish, and I've gained iron. Yup. That's a thing that happened. Uh, well, Brianna, I hate to tell you this, but, uh... Captain Penny has been a vampire for some time because she attended the Chapel of Lights. Um, so it might be that uh, in about 45 minutes, uh, the time will come to... Oh god, I don't want to fight this other boat. Hmm. I've never discovered Leopard before. Interesting. Uh, so we'll, uh... We'll maybe play Duskers. Uh, I'll see what else I've got. Uh, and then come back. Um, hopefully after Killing Penny. Which, I mean, I could be fighting all the monsters and stuff, but it's actually just not a very good way. That won't be very suspenseful. That's just straight up suicide. And I'm attempting to, to you know... Uh... I'm going to make poor decisions at champs, but not suicidal decisions. You want to see what life is like without a soul? I could buy some souls and actually come back here. Oh, she likes the plan where I sell the soul. Alright. Or you could just lend me yours. She bites her lip and looks up into your eyes. I'll keep it safe, much safer than at Z. And if you drown, it'll be here with me for always. Mortals do drown so. She places a slender, sallow hand on your wrist. Through your cuff, it's warm as a stone in the sun. It won't hurt at all. God, fine, whatever. A painless promise. Perhaps this is how a bottle feels when it's uncorked. A moment of nervousness, a moment of release, and then a certain freedom. The devilish smiles radiantly, holding up your soul in its jar, cuddling it like a kitten. Let me tell you something very special. She whispers in your ear. Her breath smells like hot stone. But you should go now. Thank you. Come back soon. I've gained... Uh, menaces soulless. I've gained a secret. Uh, and I've now... You've satisfied the devilesses yearning for souls. Uh, I'm gonna get a port report. Uh, I'm not gonna burn supplies. I could dig amongst the ruins for supplies, actually. Gained a, a cellar full of bones. How many of them died down here? You could bury them in the ash, but they're so choked and jumbled. You might as well leave them here below. The whole island is the unholiest imaginable ground, anyway. 
At least, you have souvenirs, three grinning skulls, and a carven crooked cross. I have lamentable relics, and memories of distant shores. And I will buy a bunch of fuel. Uh, do I want to just fill up on fuel? Yeah, actually. This is where you buy ambiguous eoliths. Interesting. Okay. I don't need to go to the Avatar Horizon. I could go to the Chapel of Lights. In fact, I want to. Because I know there's something I can actually do. Actually, it was the plan of not immediate suicide, but rather foolish decisions. But I guess that choice follows. Yeah, I don't know what happens as a result of being soulless. I have zero ED. I love the music of Mal Palmerston. I love it so much. As soon as I've uh, actually reached Irem and spent any secrets that I need to spend to get things from there, um, I'm going to uh, spend all of my knowledge on, I think, bullets, and so that I can become a better fighter. That's not good. So it's funny, um, the Avid Horizon actually has its own, uh, there's a boss monster near it, uh, I have discovered, uh, and it's one of those, actually, one of those mountains, evil in a way like none of the others, um, but you, it's like a, it's like trying to go after Emerald Weapon in Final Fantasy, it's all about having the, the meanest and nastiest possible boat and, and winning essentially by being top level. <clears throat> you can go through basically this whole game without really uh, making a combat version of your boat and just being a shipping magnate that goes around wandering from island to island selling his souls for bad? No! The sea is bright as milk. False stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you and its gaze enfolds your boat. You are transparent as glass. Turn the helm and flee across the milk bright sea. And escape? The sea turns in your wake. You pull away from the eye in a sha shallower waters of waking, but a terror clings. So, I hate to tell you this, but I actually needed those nightmares. Because that's what I was going to sell to the Chapel of Lights. That's what I came here for, was to have nightmares. Uh, because that lets you get a thing. I'm gonna gather intelligence, sure. Uh, I could eat the Chapel's bounty. Attend a service, or, oh, if I had a Searing Enigma. If only I had a Searing Enigma. Uh, I would have to have a lot, I would have to burn a lot of supplies to attend a service. Um. I'm gonna eat at the chapel's bounty. Ah, I lost some hunger. That's great. It's delightful. I'm not even unaccountably peckish as a result. It's 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 good. No problems. Yeah, I went here to do something foolish. Something foolish, so that I could do something else even more foolish. Uh Sleep when you're dead, you're hurt. You should really be in bed. I'm hurt. Spend time in bed. This will heal a wound. Tough it out. This will slightly reduce terror, but may occasionally injure you further. Uh, I guess I will spend time in bed. Lost supplies, lost the wound. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're taking votes in the chat. Irem or Irem? Alright. 
It's been the question we've had for many an episode. This episode, time to kill Penny. She's got so many people that love her so much. I think I'll probably, uh, I think choosing to preserve hearts means I get to keep one of my guys, and I assume it should be the Sigil Rid Ridden Navigator. I think. House of the Amber Sky. Well, I'm going to compile a port report because reasons. Uh, I have Lamentable Relics, which I can sacrifice for two moves in the great game. Rest, traveler. Our waters are warm. Our cushions are petal soft. Lay your head here and you will be healed. Or better yet, you will be renewed. Payment in coffee? Yes, please? The House of Amber Sky is a roofless space beneath the false stars of the Neath, rich with the scent of Irem roses. Despite the, it's, it's, despite the ice, it's warm as a desert evening. You will arrange yourself on the cushions. Close your eyes for just a moment. The Mirror Marches Beneath the skin of dreams, behind the faces of mirrors, an orange sun sails on a fervid sky. Here are the borderlands that place close by Irem, and closest still to the house of the amber sky. And here you are in another place. The sun is warm on your uncovered head. Rest, recover dream, rare fruit, which I can't because I'm not injured. Uh, I don't have any serious enigmas, and I'm missing a lot of things to get a parabox. Oh, this is how you, this will have all your skills, which must be at least 100. It will, however, give you an item which will allow you to colonize Estival. Rest, recover, dream. You know, I have a bale of parabola linen. Lost a bunch of terror. Lost all my hunger. The jungle around you is rich with violent colored fruit, buzzing with insects and unseen life. There's the sound of running water, too. Follow it. The water runs deep, sweet, and wild. Impassive fish of unguessable age watch you from clear depths. You drink from cupped hands, and your weariness falls from you. Monkeys shriek hilariously. A leopard watches from the undergrowth, but makes no move to attack. Afterwards, you pluck the flax that grows here. When you wake later, you find it already woven. Time to go. All right, shops. Um, I don't care much for Lamentable Relics. I have a few, uh, Parabola Linen in exchange for Fragments. I can buy another Judgment's Eggs. Um, I buy an Element of the Dawn with Supplies. Damn. I would be, I would be out of Supplies. That's no good. Uh, but I have money. Oh. Oh, they don't have any. They will just sell it for supplies. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, Searing Enigma, Extraordinary Implications. Uh, I can sell my that for all for zero. Wild. Huh. Alright, that's why I had my coffee. Uh, let's go to Estival to get more supplies. Uh, and then I guess back down to the Chelinit, because the Admiralty said to go to the Chelinit. So we must. This decision is one of those ones that could get me killed. Because I should be turning back. I'll swing by Polythreme, which will be good. Why do Zaylers fear this place? I don't know. Like, last time we were here, one of them just started smiling to death. Made just too happy by the sun. That's why nobody likes this place, Captain. You keep a terrible log. 
Oh. Wait, why can't I? Oh, I haven't spent enough time at sea. Interesting. That's what this is? Increases the speed at which you convert fragments to secrets. hear really strange sounds right now. Oh, no, no. I've done this challenge before. Everything's fine, kids. Don't be afraid. No reason to be afraid of a blue light. I have eight fuel and nine supplies. The Chelinet. I still need a court report, but what I need is strategic information. Meet your contact. I need a hunting trophy. Can I buy them here? I guess there's not much for me to do. I should go over to Polythreme and get more dudes. Head back? That just doesn't sound dangerous enough. Go to Polythreme and then uh, down to the Melting Isles. Well, I didn't use my secrets. Um, so, let's speak to the Sigil Red Navigator and increase mirrors? Uh, who is it that can increase? It fails. I mean, mirrors are cool and all. Let's go. Let's go my gadgets here. Check on my officers. I must have someone who can increase iron. Don't I have the cannoneer someplace? Gunnery officer. There we go. Hull more than ten. Spend a secret to improve iron. Go under the ribs. Just just in under the ribs. It'll be fine. My terror is great. Uh, not great as in big, but great as in manageable. I'm certain my crew understood. It's so weird because people talk about having just an 
insane amount of echoes in this game, and I just have never found out how in the hell you're supposed to actually earn large amounts of echoes. Because I do this, and this gives me a pittance of them. Uh... Uh. Hmm. Oh, I can actually equip this. Give me extra engine power and extra iron. Oh, interesting. I'm curious what Shore Leaf here is like, if it gives me other opportunities. Under other circumstances, your crew might have been happier. Damn. Eh. And maybe piracy is where all the echoes are. Maybe... Uh, maybe the child of Penny will grow to be a dangerous and mighty pirate. This is a dark and scary and foreboding looking land. This, I believe, is the Mangrove College. I can't remember what I was supposed to bring here. I feel like I was supposed to get them drunk, or get them coffee. Those both seem like things that I, as someone who spent a lot of time with professors, would, would expect them to need. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can lower my... I'm so good at this. I'm not afraid of... Oh! I can pick up passengers here. Yeah, sure. I will pick up a passenger. I've gotten the checkered ex-checker who wants to go to Port Cecil, which I know exactly where that is. Uh, I will gather supplies. Oh wow, they just give you supplies into the Wisp Blaze with Foxfire candles. I almost have enough memories of distant shore. I don't have any Z stories. I will compile a port report, because I'd be a fool not to. I can put the Blemig in ashore, which is still funny. Uh, I could go into the Wisp Boys. How much supplies do I have? Mm, that's not... Well... Well, you have to have... I don't have enough Foxfire Candles to do that. That'd just be dumb. That would just be death. Uh, but I do need to go to Port Cecil, which is just right there. Oh, let's see. Do you have... Nope, nope. Shops. None. To Port Cecil it is. Otherwise, I would go to the Isle of Cats. Well, let's see. We'll go to Port Cecil and we'll see if I can get any fuel. Otherwise, sadly, I have to return because we're not... We're making interesting decisions, not suicidal decisions. In Operation Get Penny Killed. My phone is buzzing like mad, which I did release a book today. It would be good for it to be buzzing like mad, but uh, it still does seem unlikely that it's all related to that. I have a very realistic appraisal of uh, of the chances of uh, of this picking up um, right away. Somebody just ran up and down the stairs to my apartment. <laughs> Which definitely wasn't just super spooky.
No, 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 no. Everything's good. Okay, get off, checkered X checker. 100 echoes. He's gone. Goodbye. Gather intelligence. Explore the coral. Gather Sintelac. High risk challenge. Um. Where's my terror? Shops. Fuel. Ah, oh, God, it's expensive. Uh, let's buy a minimum of five fuel. Uh, and then if I pick up Centilac, uh, I can only get one Centilac from this place. So, let's go play a game of chess. Uh, let's explore the coral mill. Shadowy Predator. It's the little things, the click of a sliding stone where there should be silence, emotion, in the shadows, as if there were thick stirred like as if they were thick stirred like ink, a lull in the cries of the Z bats. Something is watching you, drawing closer hour by hour, and you and your crew draw back to back, watching the darkness. Um, I'm terrible at both of those. This is my best chance. Retreat! Gained terror, gained a tale of terror, and was fortunate. You sense it in the murk, it, its course parallel to your own. But by the time it draws near, the lights of the port are already ahead. Your zailers clatter up the gangplank, whispering together in nervous undertones. Let's play. A distraction. I gain some terror. I give it another try. Give it one more try. Someday I will have a good enough... What does it try to be? Pages. Someday I'll have a good enough pages to pass that challenge. Um, but no, not today. Uh, so I have fuel now. Uh, and if I were smart... Smart. Uh, I could drop my pigments aisle. I could do all of these really smart things. Or instead, I could go to the Isle of Cats. Or just go southwest, heading towards, heading the long way towards Fathom King's Hold. Let's do that. There's an area we haven't explored. We are putting Penny into unnecessary but non-suicidal danger, and that means exploration. This is, by the way, the area in which I found the murder eel. Um, so... We'll see how it goes. Yeah, exploring new areas. That's right, the Trick Dempsey way. Yeah, Unterzi, I'm going to explore all of your areas. Is that is that not right? Is that not how I'm supposed to say that? Because that's how it that's how it came out. just found no ports anywhere in this region, so I've assumed that I missed something. I don't know what that is. Oh, damn, it's the murder eel. Horrors below. 53% chance. I'm willing to, to roll it. Empty nets, no sign of the beast. Empty nets, empty hold, empty house. 
the lookout says. You glare at him, but the damage is done. Increased terror. Hmm. Still haven't found a port. I keep expecting to find a port down here. This right, I'm gonna end up Port Carnelian. Well, I should go to I should go to the Fathom King's Hold. The promised sea, all through the place, the song of the drownies lies. Glad I missed that. Oh, Fathom's King Hold. Can't get an audience. I can file a shore report. I will permit shore leave. That didn't, uh, that wasn't terrible. Oh, but there's nothing here. Oh, balls, I didn't realize there was nothing. I didn't realize there was nothing here. Without a Z story. With a Z story, there's a lot, and I really wish I had one. Let's go to hell. To the Iron Republic. Yes, I said murder eel. An albino moray, as they are called, and they are murder eels. I'm supposed to kill one for this asshole, I think? Maybe it's for her. Uh, but regardless, I can't begin to take one on. So, uh, so nuts to that. Beneath the cavern that holds the Entersy is prowled by dreams. There's a story that it was once the skull of a dead god. Perhaps that would explain it. What will I learn in these dreams? Or I could do a modest hearts challenge. I will do so. Thus losing me some terror. Wonderful. Wonderful. I sleep dreamily after dosing myself on something probably bad for me. Hello, Hell's Colony. I don't have a soul, and I'm going to hell. That's probably bad, actually. That can't possibly be good. I mean, I guess they can't take it. Maybe this is something I'm not supposed to do. Well, we'll find out. Because I'm desperate need of fuel. Hey, guys. Oh, God, fuel costs nothing here. Uh, sure. How was my hold? Great. The Iron Republic. Factory engines roar like false lions. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the deck, leaps to the rail, curls like a cat. The city is reflected in a glassy, calm harbor water. The citizens have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic. Freedom from all laws, even those of nature. I'm getting a port report. I have a memory of distant shores now. I lost two hearts. 
The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. That is a hatred of four fountains. Here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you are awash with nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it. Oh. The Market of Hungers, Parliament of Flies. Yeah. Let's go to the shops. I found the House of Pleasures. I can get forbidden... No, I can buy regular fuel. I can buy parabola linen. I can sell centilac. Hmm. I have a lot of dread surmises. No, I can buy a bunch of them. Searing Enigmas. <sighs> I don't know what the Parabola Linen's for. Centilac for 74. I need Secrets, Stygian Ivory, and Devil Bone Dice. Well, this is uh, pseudo unsuccessful. I was expecting this to go uh, considerably more poorly, um, but I think I'm going to uh, get a port report from the Iron Republic. Uh, I'm going to drop by the uh, the gate to the surface and uh, be generally disappointed in uh, mm, mm. Adam's doom. And be generally disappointed in uh, the things that tried to get me. It's fine. I need way more fragments to gain a secret. I should get out of the fog bank because it increases terror like a lot. I'm pretty high on terror right now, actually. Hmm. Got a report report. Not that anyone cares. And I could listen for surface gossip. I now have a vision of the surface. Everything's expensive. Yeah, actually, outfitting an expedition from here is just awful. It is the worst. Um, although it's good to see that I now actually have two different places. Well, two different places that I can go to get cheap fuel. Um, let's go stop by Mutton Island. How's my hold? Definitely not 20 spaces in the hold, which would allow me to, uh, to transport from the salt mines. Now, if I remember right, at Mutton Island, I could actually do something really nuts if I had uh, uh, I don't want the Wretched Mog. Visit the hilltop above town. Toasting the wind, you stand on a cliff top, looking over the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins in a pencil smudge. Then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly like a god cut in half. 
What a noise! It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The sound is southerly. The wind is southerly. Chat with the fishermen. They don't tell me much. I don't want the mog. And I don't want drinks of the cock and magpie. Curse you. Oh, shoot, that's two of them. I was willing to fight one of them. I'm not willing to fight two of them. Time to go to London. Get my fuel. Drop off these damned clay men. Hey, sup, dude. I'm going to dissect the megalops. A crab full of conundrums. You set to work with your knives and acids. It is an undistinguished adolescent specimen, a megalops of one of the deep Z crab species. But its eyes, normal vestigial in those troglodytic beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, though sparks leap now and then to your knife. I gain a fragment. Yay. Take that, jerk. I wonder what news awaits me in London. The Revenue Men! I... I have nothing to hide. Breath of Relief. My terror is reduced to 50. Collect messages. Uh, someone wants to sign on. Who wants to sign on? Sanders. Meh. Meh. Who cares about them? Uh, oh yeah. Let's go to London and let's ditch the claymen. Get ourselves some money for our troubles. Um, ship's not badly damaged. Uh, Rose Market. Do you have any... Do you want to buy anything? Outlandish Artifact. Absolutely. Got 150 Echo from that. Uh, let's go to the Dark Spectacled Admiral. Submit my port reports. None of these are going to have anything new in them yet, because I didn't actually find anything new. Grr. <laughs> I love that he just burns all of my reports from there. Uh, that wasn't all of them. Grow College, Polythreme, Estival. Chalinet. Fathom King's Hold. Irem. And there we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, my hold is pretty full. I've got a bunch of parabola linen. Still. Uh, since I don't expect her to survive. Uh, wait, first... First, first, first. Let's go to my lodgings. Time with my family. Just enjoy their company. I got a restful night. Uh, anything else to do in my lodgings? Let's see if I can... Uh, visit my study and turn anything into anything else. I would need a bunch of secrets and even more outlandish artifacts. Fitting treasure, even more outlandish artifacts. Okay. Uh, let's 
see. And you need two more Centilac before I can before I can take him along. All right, shipyard. I still can't get the Corvette because that costs three thousand echoes. Uh, so instead, I need to uh, go to the provisioner. Let's get ten of those, and let's buy anything that I might want to trade. We can buy the human souls. God, it's the worst. This is the worst reality. Uh, nope. What's in my hold? I could just sell the Centilac and the Parabola Linen and grab a bunch of candles. But I want to do the Fenner's Desires. So. I'm actually going to, uh, Go straight up to Vendor Bite. Um, fighting anything I can handle along the way. And uh, realize uh, all too late that I may actually have something to give to the, uh, the curator up there. Oh, Hunter's Keep. I love that it is actually burned up. Uh, now. I had not realized that it actually changed the map. The storytelling is so good here, but nonetheless I keep expecting it. It's still very low budget, and so even subtle things seem just absolutely magical. What are you? Now. Even a slight change in loot and scuttle her. I have cash of curiosities. Open it. Parabola linen. Even a little bit of iron makes you just super powerful. Good night. sad. I had hoped I would pick up a tomb colonist, actually, at uh, Mangrove College. Mandergrove College, because you can. Uh, provide what I've promised. Oh, what? I want to gather gossip. Uh, I want to visit the first curator. Give it your hunter's eye. Uh, this is just the most expensive uh, way of, of handling Viric, I think. Uh, I hate the eyeless skull. So I'll give you this. I now have a captivating treasure. At its direction, you place the skull atop dripstone pedestal. A stalagmite once, now carved with crockets and grimacing faces. Irigo sparks crawl across it. For a moment you forget what you are doing. Thank you, the curator whispers. Perhaps you have saved me from the sanatorium. And perhaps the emergence will be less painful. His chest pulses feebly. You accept a single huge black pearl. The curator's fancies grow worse, and but it pays well. Give it my hunter's eye. My left eye is blind. Should I replace it with this?
this one. It will be no blinder, but perhaps I will see within. It raises the hand with the hunter's eye towards its concealed face. No sound is indescribable, but some should be. This is one. Let us not trouble ourselves with its nuances, its reminders of marsh and gangrene and chrysalid emergence. Take, it says, its voice is ragged. It gestures to the side table where a spoir tusk sits. A pearl tiara is perched jauntily atop the tusk. Both apparently are yours. I have a hunting trophy now. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Uh, I'm going to depart for now. And those were all curiosities. So they didn't take up space. Um, I'm going to sample today's special. Unfortunate. I lost a bunch of echo because I keep forgetting. Shops. I can sell visions of the surface for nothing you can sell tomb colonists I can sell foxfire candles but I cannot buy all right all right all right all right it's actually now is a time for taking a break just for a few minutes uh, but we will be back in just a little bit to uh, finish off probably a different game uh, and play that for an hour for tomorrow for next week's special during my vacation holiday. Penny didn't die, which is a shame, and she got a whole bunch richer. And actually, it kind of this was kind of a really successful voyage, and I, I don't know what to think about that since it was sort of a suicide mission. Um, anyway, uh, all that said, uh, it's lovely seeing you folks. Please buy my book buy my book it's down there in the doobly-doo uh and uh i'll catch up with all of y'all later